Between the Atlantic coast, the Atlas Mountains and the Great Sahara Desert lies Sidi Ifni, a small city on the southwest coast of Morocco. Its nearby villages suffer from drought. To combat this, one organization is using an age-old technique to source water, not from centuries-old wells or occasional rainfall, but by harvesting fog. The technology is actually extremely old. It is an ancestral technology that has existed all over the world, wherever there are uh, uh, very heavy, dense fog events. You'll find it in the region of South Africa, you find it in Morocco and the Canary Islands, you find it in California, you find it also in South America. So wherever there is cold currents that creates a very thick fog that becomes harvestable. Jamila Burgash is the co-founder of Darcy Hamid, an organization on a mission to help the region get access to water. The non-profit uses huge nets placed on the mountain tops a thousand meters above sea level. They capture tiny droplets of water from dense fog. It goes through fine mesh, then it gathers in a pipe-like reservoir. The fog water is pure water, it has no minerals, so it has to be mixed with underground water or surface water that has minerals. Around 6,000 litres of water can be harvested daily, a lifeline for nearly 1,000 people in nearby villages. We have uh, 16 fully functioning villages, uh, about 137 households, and we have been adding uh, 12 more villages. According to the United Nations, more than 2 billion people globally struggle from water scarcity. It is a daily challenge. One of the major challenges for us today in this world is thinking about how we manage water and the crisis of bottled water and uh, this nexus of business, ecology and management is something that we need to rethink about the, the, the paradigm that we're using today. Darcy Hamad is setting an example to find water from thin air, allowing communities to not only survive, but thrive. <laughs>